finding of a tenth planet in the solar system is astounding, and NASA's formal confirmation of the find is even more extraordinary. We can already disclose, based on our first findings, that the enigmatic tenth planet is larger than Pluto. But how could we have missed it for so long? And how did NASA find this far-off planet? Perhaps we could refer to this as Gong Gong, the solar system's tenth planet found deep within trans-Neptunian space. Now, Gong Gong begins a completely new chapter in the annals of astronomy. Meg Schwamm, Mike Brown, and Dave Rabinowitz, along with other astronomers from the California Institute of Technology, made the intriguing dwarf planet known as 207010 Gong Gong scientifically recognized on July 17, 2007. Gong Gong, with a diameter of roughly 1,535 kilometers, is a genuinely unique object in our solar system. Third in size among known dwarf planets is this one. Scientists still have a lot to learn about this intriguing group of planets known as trans-Neptunian dwarfs. The minor planet class comprises all objects that orbit far from the Sun and Earth, with the exception of Ceres, which is situated in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. These planets are hard to observe since they are small, frigid worlds. Thus, it makes sense that the majority of them have only been found by astronomers in the past 10 years. So yet, only Pluto has been identified. Until any minor planets were found behind Neptune, Pluto was the ninth planet in the solar system. About a dozen of these planets are now known to us and Pluto was forced to formally renounce its status as a planet. Although there are officially only eight planets in the solar system, amateur astronomers and space enthusiasts still believe that Pluto is the ninth planet and that Gong Gong is the tenth. One of the most amazing worlds these planetoids may contain is Pluto. Prior to being visited by NASA's New Horizons mission, we believed Pluto to be a lonely, dark, and dead planet. But in 2015, Pluto was given a face and the shadows were lifted. Ever since, we have been aware of Pluto's geological activity and potential for ice volcanism. The dwarf planet may contain water and a heated interior. This suggests that life, at least in its most basic form, might exist on Pluto. Pluto is not the furthest from the Sun on the orbit of Gong Gong, the enigmatic world at the boundary of the solar system. Gong Gong rotates more slowly than any other known body orbiting the Sun, taking over 45 hours to complete a full revolution. Its sluggish rotation may indicate a dramatic past, possibly from a collision with a more massive object in space or with another dwarf planet that caused it to become momentarily non-rotating. Researchers are also intrigued by the enigma surrounding Gong Gong's surface. Similar to Pluto, this planet is very reddish in color, which is most likely due to tholins, which are intricate organic molecules that are created when solar radiation interacts with gases like as methane. This crimson hue is thought by scientists to be a sign of Gong Gong's complex and rich chemical makeup. For a very long time, scientists believed that there might be bare rock fragments this far into space. However, recent discoveries have shown us that the trans-Neptunian planets are dynamic, little worlds, and that each one is unique. It's interesting to note that Gong Gong also exhibits methane and water signatures, suggesting an icy and possibly even active geological world. The freezing of water and other volatiles, along with an active layer under the ice sheet, is what causes cryovolcanism. The geological activity of the frozen moons of Jupiter and Saturn was formally explained by the enormous gravitational pull of the gas giants. However, no massive planet could be causing this action where Gong Gong and Pluto are circling around. These planets must have a mystery inside. Pluto is smaller than Gong Gong. 2014 saw NASA's Kepler space probe make close observations of the minor planet 207010. 
207010, one of perhaps six dwarf planets, was for a long time the final planet in our solar system without a name. The object rotates more slowly than practically any other body, and the first examination found that it is fairly black. It wasn't until much later that scientists looked more closely at the dwarf planet that they discovered all the fascinating new information for their study. The researchers preserved data from the Herschel Infrared Satellite Observatory and used NASA's Kepler Satellite Telescope. Herschel was a European space agency and NASA spacecraft that was a part of the K2 planet hunt. The Astronomical Journal released the study report based on these findings. The researchers arrived at entirely fresh conclusions on the size estimate of Gong Gong as part of the new K2 study. The planet's diameter was recalculated using the K2 and Herschel data combined. It was determined that Gong Gong's diameter is roughly 2050 kilometers greater, and it might even be marginally bigger than Pluto. Pluto is currently twice as far away from the Sun as the 10th planet, yet its irregular orbit occasionally gets it almost as close as Neptune. Because of this, it is challenging to properly photograph and research Gong Gong in the expanse of space. Though that may sound amazing, the solar system has always had dozens or perhaps hundreds of minor planets that we haven't yet been able to observe. The American astronomer Clyde Tombaugh made the discovery of Pluto in 1930. Pluto was discovered while Tombaugh and his associates were searching for the enigmatic planet X at the time. It took almost a century for it to be discovered that Pluto was not alone. With a diameter of roughly 2,326 kilometers, Eris is nearly as big as Pluto and was found in 2005. Because of its very eccentric orbit, which takes it far outside of the Kuiper belt, Eris is well known. Haumea, which has a diameter of around 1,632 kilometers and an elongated ellipsoidal body, joined the dwarf planets shortly after. Haumea rotates once per four hours, which is extraordinarily fast compared to Gong Gong and likely explains its peculiar shape. Researchers are also fascinated by Haumea because of its ring and its two moons, Namaka and Hihiaka. Make Make is the third biggest known dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt, with a diameter of about 1,430 kilometers. It is well known for having a dazzling ice surface that is abundant in ethane and methane gas. In 2007, Gong Gong was added. Officially referred to as trans-Neptunian objects, these dwarf planets are intriguing worlds unto themselves. They may hold important secrets for deciphering the origins and development of our solar system, according to researchers. With their distinct characteristics and intricate workings, all of the planets, from Pluto to Gong Gong, have the potential to teach us important lessons about the formation and evolution of the solar system. Could Planet X be Gong Gong? There have long been rumors in space suggesting that there could be a tenth planet called Planet X. This object of suspicion was known as Planet 9 before Pluto appeared, and after Pluto, it became known as Planet 10 or X. But this must be a considerably larger object than all the dwarf planets combined, including Gong Gong. You might be asking how scientists even came up with the theory that there might be another planet at this point. It's very easy. Every planet exhibits distinct orbital cycles and rotation characteristics. Periodic aberrations in these orbits of Uranus and Neptune give the impression that a massive object with a strong gravitational attraction is exerting pressure on the paths of the two ice giants. It is possible to conclude that there must be a sizable planet behind Neptune because of these aberrations. Compared to all the minor planets, Planet X is much larger than Neptune and perhaps slightly smaller. The enigmatic planet may have a massive orbit around the Sun that extends beyond the solar system's physical bounds, according to research findings. If this planet is on a very elliptical orbit, with an orbital period of at least 10,000 years, it would only become visible every few thousand years 
as it entered the inner regions of the solar system. However, scientists haven't been able to definitively validate this imaginary planet as of yet. Legends abound regarding Planet X, a world that brings death and ruin to Earth once every 12,000 years is mentioned in a few mythology and ancient faiths. These tales of a planet or otherworldly world have frequently been linked to Planet X. Even if it were to occasionally approach the Sun, we on Earth probably wouldn't notice anything about its look. Sirius, the most peculiar small planet of all, is frequently overlooked. If I told you that there is a nearby planet that is frequently neglected, would you trust me? In the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars is the planet Sirius. When Giuseppe Piazzi first spotted the object in 1801, he categorized it as a planet. After being mistakenly believed to be an asteroid for a considerable amount of time, Sirius was formally designated as a dwarf planet in 2006 as part of the minor planet reform. This one is the smallest known dwarf planet in the solar system, with a diameter of around 940 kilometers, but it's also the largest in the asteroid belt, big enough for gravity to give it a fairly round shape. Because it connects the ice bodies of the outer solar system with the world of rocky inner planets, Sirius is unlike any other planet in the solar system. Once more, the mixing of different minerals and water ice on its surface suggests a complicated and fascinating geological past. Intriguing conjecture has arisen since the discovery of brilliant patches and craters on Sirius in 2015. These salt-filled patches, which are mostly found in the Ur craters, are currently thought to be proof of either subterranean ocean life or potential cryovolcanic activity. The Dawn mission, which entered orbit around Sirius in 2015, and thoroughly investigated the minor planet is responsible for what we know about this planet. We have since seen stunning photos of this unusual celestial body. According to Dawn's findings, the planet's surface is complex and varied, with craters, mountains, canyons, and mysterious light patches. These characteristics also suggest that geological activity occurs on Sirius, or at least did in the past. There are indications of water and organic compounds, suggesting that this dwarf planet may have provided early solar system conditions suitable for life. Consider residing on a planet with a mere 940 kilometers in diameter. That would be a very small and most likely very comfortable world. Hit the subscribe button now. There are many more video hits to come.